it is Thursday night and I just remembered I work all day tomorrow isn't that freaking fantastic because my filming hours currently are like 10 to 4 10 to 5 that way I can get all my stuff uploaded in a timely manner I did it today and it worked so so well my hair looks so gross right now but I just got back from Spider-Man and I loved it so much. I mean, this is my favorite Spider-Man. Like out of all the Spider-Mans we've had, like Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, Tom Holland is my Spider-Man. I love him. So yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I'm really glad that I made time to go watch it with my dad and I'm just happy about it. I put in a clip that I started listening to the Guardians of the Galaxy audiobook. There's just a few things that I wanna do that don't involve physically reading so I need an audiobook so I decided to kind of just like let go of my weird feeling of not wanting to listen to guard guardians did I say guardians of the galaxy I meant aurora rising <laughs> that's awkward I mean it doesn't hugely remind me of guardians of the galaxy like there are certain aspects of it but for the most part like it's its own story and since it was marketed like that it just always pops into my head like that and for whatever reason like purple galaxy print always reminds me of guardians and that's what aurora rising has so where the heck <sighs> Cats. It's okay, I guess. I noticed that there was a whole bunch of stuff on the floor, but I was kind of ignoring it. I know this was T'Challa because he saw me put treats up here earlier, and he's been really actually rude about food lately. I don't know why, but he's acting like I never feed him, and that I need to feed him more. But I printed out the badges, and since I have a black and white printer, I have been coloring them in slowly, which like I have to listen to an audio before. I mean, it's not that bad. The only one that got really crinkled is the one with the paw print on it and that's almost fitting. So I'm probably gonna color that in more. I think actually Mika just texted me so we might be FaceTiming soon. I don't know if we're gonna get straight to reading, but eventually we're gonna get there. I was actually messing around with my channel. And I didn't realize that you can add channels onto your channel for other people to look at. And I've been wanting to incorporate a way to kind of like boost either smaller channels or channels that I feel deserve more recognition or channels that I just really love in general. And this is like a really good way to do it. Uh, I might change it up every once in a while just to like boost new people. But for right now, I'm really excited. Like, look at these guys. And then it says some amazing people. And we have like Mika and Karina, Ali from Ali Corvair, Alexandra Roslin, Chandler Ainsley, Bow Ties and Books, Crescent Moon Reads, Irish Reader, Katie's Book Nook, Naraya Reads. And those are all channels that I just tend to watch frequently and that I really adore. So right now, I think I'm going to call Mika and I'm gonna color more of my badges in. We're gonna see. We're gonna see it all. Good morning, everybody. It is officially day five of the readathon. I just wanted to check in really, really fast. Today is my only day working this week, so I have to get going. It is nine, nine ten. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get Duncan. I've been listening to Aurora Rising on audio. I'm on, I don't know, the chapters are super messed up on script. I have five hours left. I am really enjoying the audiobook. I kind of forgot that, um, one of the characters had a cool, like, almost New Zealand, Australian-esque accent, and so I'm enjoying it. So, yeah, that's really great, and I'm sure that this video is going to go up super late today because I get off work at, like, 4, so I still have to do all, like, my editing and filming and all that good stuff. But I wanted to check in real fast before work, being like, yo, this is me before work, not looking like a hot mess, but when I come back... I'll be a hot mess. We're gonna ignore that I look like a hot mess, but I got the mail! Look how much stuff! The post office had it. I'm so excited. It's the end of work day. So I put in a clip of me finally getting all my mail and I wanna unbox some of it with you guys because you guys have been on this journey with me. I feel like so many people are asking me now if I found my mail key. No, I haven't. It's unfortunate. Yeah, let's just do it. This is the boxy charm that started this mission. I hope you like my ponytail and t-shirt look because I just had to get out of my work clothes and I did not want to deal with my hair. So, ta-da! Okay, so the first thing I see in here is something I'm already nervous to use, but I'm going to use it anyways because we like living life on the edge. So this is the Elemis Superfood Vital Veggie Mask, which sounds really cool. It doesn't say anything about not leaving in the heat for like 12 days, but I'm pretty sure it's implied. Next, ooh, we got brushes. Okay, these I can use no matter what, that's nice. We love makeup brushes. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. This is not like a real unboxing, by the way. This is just like a, I'm sure that someone out there likes magenta lipstick. Personally, my lips don't look good as Barney. 
that's just like a personal thing. It's Santorini, if anyone was wondering. Ophrem. I don't know who I'm gonna give that to. And we got a gel liner, probably still usable. Wow, actually this is a pretty good box to get left for 12 days. And an eyeshadow palette, we love that. Oh, it's shimmery. We don't love that. I mean, like, we do. I'm wearing shimmery eyeshadow, that's hilarious. I actually unsubscribed from BoxyCharm because, like, it's cool, but they give a lot of skincare products, and I don't use skincare products that fast. And also, it's expensive, so... Well, it's not expensive, but, like, I don't, don't have money. All right, let's open this, because I literally have no clue what this could be. I don't know how this is supposed to open. Oh my god, I'm stressed. Like that? <gasps> this smells so good! This is the Reese candle that was supposed to come in the unplugged book box and they told me like, oh, we'll send it to you. And I was like, no, it's fine. And they sent it to me. It smells like man's cologne. It smells wonderful. It's, oh my god, it's totally melted shut. I don't think it's supposed to unscrew. I think it's supposed to just pop. I think I'll just leave it open because it smells great. Look, it must have had such a pretty print on it. Everything melts in Vegas, guys. I'm okay with it and I'm just gonna like rub it on me every once in a while when I want to smell like resand. The last thing that I'm gonna unbox because this bad boy I think I'm just gonna leave for tomorrow is this baby. I'm excited. I know what this is. <laughs> this is like the worst box to pull open. Barnes & Noble, what you doing? She's beautiful. It's Golden Sun in hardcover, and yeah, now I get to complete my collection. Well, not complete, because now there's still like Iron Age and Dark Dawn. Not Dark Dawn. You didn't even jump. You levitated. You levitated. Not Dark Dawn, I meant Dark Age. Luna, I am trying to have a moment. Today is gonna be a different day because I don't plan on getting this video up timely. I plan on this coming up tomorrow. Sorry about that guys. Honestly, just work got in the way and I still wanna read and I still wanna have a cool vlog so we're gonna do it my way. <laughs> so reading plans, I'm planning on reading Muse of Nightmares. I want to at least read 100 pages today. With any luck, I'm going to dedicate myself to it and actually finish it, but who actually knows? I've been listening to the Aurora Rising audiobook I don't know where I am in it right now, honestly. I'm just kind of doing that very casually, very slowly, because after that, I literally have no more. You do not get to hang out on my printer. No, 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 no. She's new, and she's my baby. And I know you're my baby, but... After that, I hope to just finish Muse of Nightmares tonight, but I don't really know. And then it's on to Harry Potter, so I'm really excited about that. And maybe I'll like take breaks between Muse of Nightmares with Language of Thorns and just casually read that, but I'm not really sure yet. She's letting me hold her. I think she's just like kind of upset right now because I'm holding her really weirdly. And we still have to look at what the video challenge is and what the Instagram challenge is. So I'm gonna actually watch that. I'm not gonna do it on video and then I'll get back to you. Blue. This is T'Challa's world, and we're just living in it. That's what he wants us to know. Stop messing with the camera, T'Challa. So I actually am on a really good part of Muse of Nightmares. I'm on page 322, so I've only read like 20 pages. But I'm enjoying like the chapter that I'm on, but I know there's gonna be a reading sprint at seven, and it's 6.44 right now. So I kind of just want to like take a break because I, I really want to participate in a reading sprint. I think it'll encourage me to actually do more reading. So right now I'm just going to take a break, maybe read a little bit of Language of Thorns, just chill out. I actually just ordered Uber Eats. I got Tropical Smoothie, which I'm really, really freaking excited about. Peace. Well guys, my Tropical Smoothie came and I was just trying to take the picture for the Instagram challenge. You're reading Fuel. Like this was perfect. I was like trying to think of how to make it work with my bookstagram and I feel like 
one of those had to have worked, you know? Hands-free listening, I'm listening to Aurora Rising. Got my fuel. It's almost, oh, it is seven. Yikes. If you were wondering, I get the Bahama Mama. It's bomb. And this is a Cali Chicken Club. And they gave me two chips. <sighs> that was honestly the biggest win of my day. Well, besides the fact that my boyfriend paid for this because he knows I had a really long day at work and he knew I was super stressed about what to do with the reading vlog. So he was like, I'll buy you a snack. Honestly, good day. Let's get on this uh, reading sprint. Yikes. But first, Cali. Mmm, so good. It's 8 p.m. Nice. Um, I read about like 30 pages. I'm on page 356 now. So that's pretty good. Like that's decent, especially because we really only read like 35 minutes for the sprint. I basically read about a page a minute almost. So that's actually really good for Muse. And I'm really, really interested in the part that I'm at. A lot just happened. I mean, if you can tell, I actually put a tab right here at the top. Those tabs for me personally mean that they're super important because I tab so much of books that I am enjoying. It's hard to see tabs sometimes for the pages that I think are the most important. And this is a very important page for me. So I put a tab at the top. Yeah, I think that now I'm gonna take like a mini break. I ate a bag of chips and I've been drinking my smoothie I'm at like the bottom of it now it's been super good but I'm gonna take just like a mini break have like a minute to myself and then I'm gonna come back and read more I might read downstairs though so I'll take you guys along with me maybe do some cute time lapsing I don't know everything's up in the air I did the mistake that you, you should never do when drawing and I put down the darkest color first on her face and that's why she looks a little muddy like the the blending is really like thick and like she's just like a touch too dark like maybe it should have been lighter and then then added in the darkness but I decided to draw Sarai from Muse of Nightmares. I actually am pretty happy with how this turned out. I normally have a really hard time sketching out faces the way that I'm imagining them, but hers just came right out of me and I'm really pleased with her hair. I feel like that's exactly how I imagine her hair, just a tumble and like beautiful and cinnamon. And I am overall happy with like how the blue turned out, especially since I did kind of mess it up and I don't know. I'm happy. I, I think this is cool. This is for the video challenge of the day, which was to uh, book art to life, I believe is what it's called. I didn't want to do a drawing at first, but the more I thought about it, well, it kind of came out of nowhere. I was just sitting here and then I looked at Muse of Nightmares and I had this perfectly clear image of Sarai in my head and I was like, I'm going to draw her. So here she is. This is my Sarai. She kind of looks corpse bridey, but I'm overall pretty pleased. Like, yeah, a little bit of a mistake. I should have added more highlights into her nose. Instead, it just kind of looks like this dark blob now. Oh my gosh, I have a white gel pen. Okay, I'm going to go through it and see if I can fix anything. <laughs> All right, so this is how it turned out after I used the white gel pen to bring out some highlights on her nose and her hair, just in general, because it was looking very muddy. Pretty pleased overall with how it turned out. This is also me saying that I forgot to close this vlog out, so yeah, I didn't finish Muse of Nightmares, but I'll see you guys tomorrow on day six.